Okay, so in this video, we want to define the derivative of a function, and as we're about to see, the derivative is nothing but an extension of our concept of slope. So let's look at the xy plane. And suppose we have a function whose graph looks something like this. Let's say the equation is given by y equals f of x. And we know how to find the slope of a line, right? It is the change in y over the change in x. And can we use this idea, the fact that we know how to find the slope of a line, to then find a natural way of obtaining the slope of a function that is not a line but a curve? And the answer is yes. Assume that the curve is smooth enough, let's take a point on it, if the curve is smooth enough around this point, it will have a unique line that will pass through this point and touch the function only at this point and at no other point around this point. So the line barely just grazes the function at this one point, but at no other point will it touch the function around the point of interest. And this line, again if the curve is smooth enough, this line is unique, and this line is called the tangent line to the curve. Say we pick a point x. Again, this is called the tangent line. And as I've said, if the curve is smooth enough, this line is unique. And while well, we, we now have a line that we can associate with the curve at this point. This is a line now, so it naturally has a slope. The slope of this line is what we call the derivative of the function. So the derivative is a fancy word to say the slope of the tangent line to a curve, and by association, the slope of the curve. There are two natural ways of denoting the derivative. One is dy over dx. And this should make sense if we think of dy as a very small change in y and dx as a very small change in x. And the ratio change in y over change in x would return the slope of a line. And we also sometimes use, if we view y as f of x, the notation f prime of x. So both are notations to denote the derivative of a function at a point. And again, the derivative is the slope of the tangent line to the curve at this given point. And this is how we can make sense of the slope of a function. And this clearly is, in its own right, a function. Right? As you vary x, you will obtain different tangent lines to the curve, therefore different slopes. Suppose you pick this point now. Well, if you draw the tangent line to the curve, clearly here, the slope of this line, again the derivative, so dy over dx, is clearly negative. Here, the line was increasing, so its derivative the derivative of the function is clearly positive. And if you take, say, this point, then the tangent line to the curve is horizontal. And then the derivative here, specifically at this point, is equal to zero. And so you can see very clearly from this simple curve that as you change your point of tangency, as you change your value of x, you obtain very different tangent lines, which have respectively very different slopes, and so the derivative of a function is also, in its own right, a function of x. And this is how we can make sense of the slope of a curve, simply by associating the slope of a curve to the slope of its tangent line. And just as a line, if a function has a positive derivative, then the curve is increasing around this point, 
if at a point the derivative of the function is negative, then around this point the function is decreasing, just as the tangent line, and at a point where the derivative is zero, then the slope of the function, just as the slope of its tangent line is equal to zero, so at this point the curve is flat. So we can now speak of the slope of a curve just as we would speak of the slope of a line.